Tēnātātou katoa, good evening. The Labour Party has been thrown into turmoil after one of its ministers announced she was quitting to join the Māori Party. I ke roa, Rāwhiti MP Mika Whaiteri blindsided her boss, the Prime Minister, who was on his way to London when the news broke. She's now been removed as a minister, but appears to have hung on to her job as an MP because of a technicality. Political editor Jenna Lynch has all the chaos as it unfolded. A mega mecha bombshell. I have resigned from the New Zealand Labour Party and have joined Te Party Māori. Mika Whaiteri, a minister in the Labour government, pledging allegiance to another party, the Māori Party. The decision to cross the floor is not an easy one, mm -hmm. but it's the right one. Completely catching her colleagues unawares when murmurs started last night. This is what you said. And still no clearer this morning. I only know what I've seen in the media. We'll see what happens today. I look, I've seen the news reports. It's been confirmed? It's been confirmed. Um, good luck to her. Even her boss had no clue. The PM landed in London to confusion and chaos, an errant minister he hadn't even heard from. Typically they'd speak to their party leaders before uh, making those announcements. I haven't heard from her yet. He will have seen the announcement. Mecca Whaiteri went to ground, refusing to talk to her party. She never rang me or contacted me, so it was disappointing. Labour dispatched Kitty Allen, who drove all the way to the coast and back. I certainly said, are you sure? And she said, do you want to come to the Māori party? I always said, I think we both said no. The Deputy PM and Deputy Labour leader left to deal with it in the boss's absence. We had no idea. It's disappointing and clearly it's unexpected. Unexpected and unexplained. We haven't had a reason either. It's my calling. It's who I am as a Māori, proudly so. She's been set free. She's unlocked the shackles and emancipated me. And in switching sides, effectively turfing out to Party Māori's already selected Karorafati candidate, her cousin, Heather Te O Skipworth. I'm honest, it was hard. It was hard. And throwing the Labour campaign into turmoil. Looks like the wheels are falling off the bus. Yeah, well, well, they're not. The Labour Party had an option to kick Whaiteri out of Parliament. Will you walk a jump, Mika Whaiteri, out of Parliament? No. Why not? We don't feel the need. Causing a cerebral and comedic constitutional clash. This is a serious issue. Over whether Whaiteri had accidentally waka jumped herself by emailing the Speaker. I do not have a letter. I actually mean it. I don't. Is the issue that it was received electronically? I have not received any letter of resignation, signed or unsigned. The Speaker ultimately uh, ruling Whaiteri is both an independent MP but also still part of the Labour Party. And she wishes to sit somewhere else. It may be his final ruling on the matter, but it is certainly not the end of the mecca mess for Labour. Wow, kia ora, Jenna. Now there's less than six months until the election. Labour can't be happy about this. No, no way, no how, even though Chris Hipkins and his senior ministers appear to be shrugging this off. The Prime Minister has every right to be absolutely furious with Mika Whaiteri. One of his ministers launching a missile at him in the form of defecting to another party while he's on the other side of the world and refusing to take his phone calls in advance of that. That is utterly unacceptable. Mika Whaiteri says she can now be unapologetically Māori but hasn't said why she couldn't do that with the Labour Party. In the absence of that explanation, this looks like a self-interested publicity stunt. Despite that, Labour doesn't want to pick a fight with Mika Whaiteri. They have made the right call not to kick her out of the Parliament and risk a potential expensive and embarrassing by-election in actual election season. But, as one Labour insider put it to me today, rightly so, uh, any day that they are not talking about bread and butter in the lead up to October 14 is a bad day. Jenna, thank you for that analysis.